Now you may have watched videos on the shape builder tool before. You know the ones where you are told the alt option key removes areas and how to make interesting shapes with that tool. Well today's video goes way beyond that as I share some really useful and crucial tips for using the shape builder tool in logo designing. And sponsoring today's video is Skillshare, the place to learn a new skill set heading into 2020. With classes on music, photography, design, freelancing and much much more, there's bound to be something there to trigger your creativity and something that can provide vital skills heading into 2020. Learn how you can get Skillshare Premium for two months totally for free later in today's video. The first tip today seems a little bit weird, but it's vastly important. And I've seen designers getting this totally wrong before. When designing a logo, don't start with the shape build at all. Don't even give it a few clicks. Now there is a good reason for this, and that is that a good quality logo design requires the logo design process. This means you should be researching the brand, developing an overall image of the project and creating concepts. Once you have all of those bases covered, you can then begin to incorporate your digital designing and the use of a shape builder tool. So don't rush in with 300 circles on your artboard trying to make some interesting logo design shapes with the shape builder tool. So tip number two with the shape builder tool is that it's always a great idea to import some sketches for your logo design concepts right into Illustrator and you can use them as guides when you're using the shape builder tool. Also, you could make some sketches using a drawing tablet directly into Illustrator and then lock these down as a guide for you creating the logo itself. Of course, it's whichever best suits you and your workflow. And to import sketches, either scan them or just simply take a picture on a camera or a smartphone and then upload that to Illustrator. Having your ideas and concepts right there on screen does vastly help the workflow, especially when using the Shape Builder tool. The third tip is a quick and a simple one, and that is to change the keyboard shortcut for the Shape Builder tool. Now by default, it's probably Shift and M on your keyboard. And if you don't use a keyboard shortcut for this tool already, you probably should. And that's because you first need to select all of the shapes and then access the tool afterwards. And this can be annoying. But also the standard shortcut is annoying of Shift and M. And so trust me, just having a very simple and very easy shortcut will make your workflow that much more smoother in the long run. So the fourth tip for using this shape builder tool in logo designing is to check for gaps. Sometimes we might have gaps in our shape orientations and this will mess up the workflow with the shape builder tool. So if you actually select or double click the tool in the toolbar, you will bring up a settings menu and then you can just click the box to check for gaps and then set the size setting. Having this gap detection activated means Illustrator will actively search for any gaps and then just ignore them so you can use the tool as normal. It's just one of these things that can be very handy and sometimes people do have gaps without realizing and don't understand why the shape builder tool is not working. Tip number five today is that you want to have your snapping settings correct. And this is so that we can align things and position things exactly where we want to have them. We don't want Illustrator to be stubborn and to snap objects to places we don't want them being. And so firstly, do not have the align to pixel grid option selected. And then also make sure your snapping options on smart guides and also just in general are well suited for this kind of workflow. So you probably want to have quite a low tolerance on these snapping options. And tip number six for using the shape builder tool is to make use of outline mode. Now this is command or control Y on your keyboard. And it's a highly effective function for making sure everything is precise and flush with your shape orientation. 
Sometimes we have a thick stroke or a field shape or some other stuff going on. And if we just come into outline mode, everything is really precise and crystal clear to work with. And we can align things really, really perfectly. Of course, you don't want extra bits hanging off of your designs when making a logo. And making today's video possible is Skillshare. It's the online learning community where millions of creatives come together to learn new skills and to excel their careers or their hobbies into 2020. I'm actually learning how to create 3D and 4D animations through Skillshare. And one of the courses I really am digging right now is one by Gustavo Torres. And even with my busy schedule, I still manage to learn things as most of them are under 60 minutes. So it's really easy to integrate Skillshare into your day-to-day -day life. And you guys will probably see some tutorials around 3 or 4D animations on this channel when I do perfect and master those skills. It's something I've wanted to learn for a long time, but I've never really had the time to do it. I so said the first 1,000 people to subscribe to Skillshare would have two months totally for free on the premium version. So join Skillshare today and learn some new essential skills for your career or your hobby heading into 2020. If you want to learn more essential skills about Adobe Illustrator tools or logo designing, do subscribe to my channel for weekly graphic design content and click a video on screen. But until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.